My 23F boyfriend's mother, 56F, keeps putting an ingredient I'm allergic to in her dishes. This has been somewhat of a nightmare so any advice would be amazing. My boyfriend is also 23 for clarity. I have a garlic allergy. It's not lethal. And I definitely wouldn't get anaphylaxis or something from it. The problem is that I get asthma if I eat it and it'll really mess with my digestion later. Everyone in my life knows that I can't have garlic and I won't have garlic. It makes eating out a nightmare because of how prevalent it is. So usually my boyfriend and I have date nights at our apartment and we cook for each other. But my boyfriend's mom has a family tradition and she insists we all come to dinner at least once a month. She's a fantastic cook and usually a really nice lady to be around. But there's one problem. She wants me to come every time. But she always adds garlic to every dish. At this point, I've just started taking an inhaler and just eating the Hawaiian rolls she always serves. My boyfriend drives us. And we just go get fast food right after. We've talked to her over and over again about the garlic. I've asked her over and over to please not use garlic. And she says she doesn't understand how it's such a big deal, because it's not like you'll die. I've tried skipping the meals. But she throws a fit and drags her entire family into it. I've been with my boyfriend for three years now and I'm best friends with his sister. I'm at my wit's end. How do I get this through to her? TLDR. My boyfriend's mom insists on serving food with garlic at every meal even though I'm allergic. ETA. I have brought my own food before. Usually something simple like a mac and cheese. I did it twice. But both times she was angry and basically made for an incredibly unhappy evening. You need to talk to your boyfriend. And maybe his sister. Though I wouldn't expect that. About sticking up for you. She's not listening to you. And she won't listen to an occasional talk. So he needs to remind her every time that. Sure it won't kill you. But being unable to breathe properly will make even the best dinner hard to enjoy pushing allergies. Repeatedly over a long period can and often does make them worse. So it could have serious repercussions down the line. Where on earth is your boyfriend in all this? He should be advocating for you with his family. This shouldn't be your fight. He needs to tell his mother that either she makes food that you can eat, or the both of you aren't coming. If he won't do this for you, then you need to break up with him because it's only going to get worse. Heaven forbid you have children with this man and those children have the same allergy. Stop. Going. Up. I know you want to be part of the family get together. And your BF wants you there. But this woman is ignoring your request she's not even providing a dish that you aren't allergic to and has a fit when you bring your own food. She doesn't want you there. If she did, she would have something for you. Stop. Going. Let your boyfriend say when everyone asks, my GF can't come. She is allergic to garlic. But mother refuses to make a dish that doesn't have it in it. And yells at her when she brings food she can actually eat. Stop. Going. A nice lady doesn't do that. It's a power play. She could absolutely make a dish that doesn't have garlic. And if she didn't want to, she would allow you to bring a dish for yourself. But she doesn't, because she wants to make a point. Stop. Going. This sounds like a miserable experience. If the rest of the family knows about your allergy you can either not go anymore. This is what I'd do. Bring your own food. Or go hungry. If she flips her lid tell her that you prefer that your throat not close up. She shouldn't need to see an adverse reaction just to believe you. And honestly. People like this won't have any regrets until you're dead. Oh I know you had to go to the hospital last time but you brought your inhaler this time right? So you'll be fine. Quote. I have a question why are you even attending this tradition if you're not going to be accommodated? 
You have a serious allergy to something that requires you to carry an inhaler. If both you and your husband have tried to talk to the in-laws and no one in the extended family is speaking up, I would communicate to your husband that for your own safety you'd like to sit these dinners out. He's more than welcome to continue attending and explain your absence to his family. VF and you need to stop going there to eat. I absolutely do not get her mindset and everyone enabling her unsafe behavior. WTF? Why continue going? Ask him why he's okay with her making you sick. He should be advocating for you here. She's his mother and you're his partner. Ask her why this is so important to her that she's willing to make you sick to mildly poison you. In fact, I understand how much an impact removing garlic can have on cooking. My partner has a sensitivity to the smell and gets migraines. So while I haven't had to cut it out completely, I don't cook with it anymore. But for one meal a month? And not even every month. Since you're happy to bring your own food sometimes? And not even necessarily every dish of this meal? This is too much for her? You aren't asking much. And it's for the sake of your health. Ask why she refuses to accept any possible option except you attending the dinner. Eating her food. And being poisoned by it. Why is literally no other option okay with her? Remind them both that asthma can vary in severity. And could actually kill you if it was bad enough. If she keeps pushing back. Shrug and tell her you won't poison yourself for anyone. Even if it's only a little. So you'll just have to skip the meals. If family criticize you, really lean into the garlic is poisonous to me angle and ask them as well why they think you should have to be poisoned. Allergies are serious. Even mild ones can escalate unexpected and you're already starting at breathing difficulties. Why should you risk it becoming breathing stops? You've tried being polite. You've tried offering alternatives. You've tried removing yourself from the situation. You're going to have to get firm with them all now. Especially your BF. Or you're going to find yourself being served garlic prawns at your wedding. Take and reheat your own food. Repeat, don't mind me. The food mill has prepared smells delicious but I have a mild allergy to garlic that is quite unpleasant and can cause an asthma attack. I don't want to stop everyone else from enjoying the food seasoned with garlic. Please, let's not worry about me. Let's go and enjoy the meal and time with family. If she won't cook without garlic and she doesn't accept you bringing your own food, it means Shek wants you to suffer. This is sadistic. How is this acceptable behavior? If your BF doesn't tell her off and insists you join him, it means he wants you to suffer too. He too finds your suffering by his mother's hand acceptable just because you don't die from your allergy. This is a very serious red flag. She's crazy and not a nice lady at all. Seriously rethink your entire relationship with him if he hasn't considered cutting contact with her. Your boyfriend needs to put a stop to it. If there is garlic in the next meal he needs to stand up and say, you know she's allergic you are. Doing this on purpose and we won't be back. I'm done with you poisoning my girlfriend, he needs to go not contact with the family for one full week. Then after he needs to ask his mother if she wants to have a relationship with both of you or not. If yes garlic is banned. If no then go no contact. Bring your own meal. Use the bracketed parts if your doctor will concur or you are okay with lying. And then say, quote, my doctor has told me that continued exposure can increase the allergy response to the point of hospitalization. I don't want to cause any issues. Quote, stop going and eating her food. She could kill you. Asthma kills on average 10 people every day in the US alone. Stop exposing yourself to her. Trying to make your would-be murderer like you is an impossible and incredibly dangerous task. 
Your boyfriend needs to put his foot down now or you need to leave the relationship. He should not be going to see his mother either with her pulling this stunt. Bring your own food. It's what you would do if you were vegan or were gluten intolerant. She's not willing to cook without garlic. And that's her option. It's her house. And she can do what she likes even if it means she's a subpar hostess. She's not going to like that you bring your own food. But so what? It's not acceptable to get sick on a monthly basis because she thinks that only deadly allergies count. This would be a deal breaker for me. Where is your BF? Is he stupid? She's mean and your BF isn't standing up for you. Why are you doing this to yourself? I do a lot of cooking. And I know that garlic is not a necessary ingredient in every meal. It's unreasonable to include garlic in every meal even when nobody has a sensitivity to it. But when a family member, or future family member, has a sensitivity, it's ludicrous to continue to expose you that way. I'd bet my paycheck that if it were her son, your BF, that was allergic, there wouldn't be a single meal including garlic. And it's for this reason that I suspect she's messing with you. This is how it starts. Little microaggressions that you can't really really the troops for. And nobody is going to really hold her accountable for them because. Well, they're micro. As your relationship progresses, these microaggressions will probably get more intense. That is, unless you establish boundaries with her and get your boyfriend to support it. Mothers-in-law are notoriously awful to future dills and dills. They behave up until the point where their son marries a girl or has children with her. Then they turn into monsters. Beware. Meanwhile when my mother learned my sill was vegan she added vegan versions of every dish she could. To our Thanksgiving and Xmas dinners. You tell BF and Mill that this is not acceptable. You hold your ground. If BF won't take your side, you kick him to the curb and find someone else. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.